I'm Stephanie and welcome to Scary Chat episode 12. This week we're going to be discussing A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's written and directed by Wes Craven, one of my horror film favorites, and it stars Heather Langenkamp, Amanda Weiss, and Johnny Depp. Okay, so it starts out with this girl named Tina. She's having a really bad nightmare and we are introduced to Freddy Krueger. He's chasing her through this creepy boiler room thing and she can't get away. He keeps following her and just as he scratches her nightgown, she wakes up. Her mom comes rushing in after she's been screaming and stuff and sees that her nightgown's all shredded and basically just tells her to cut her fingernails as if <laughs> someone's fingernails can rip, sh like shred, not just rip, but shred their nightgown. I don't think so. Okay, so then we meet Tina's friends. She tells them about her nightmare. She gets all freaked out. They just shrug it off and that's pretty much it. <laughs> but since Tina's still scared from the nightmare, she convinces her friends to stay the night while her mom's out of town. They're chilling, hanging out, and then the, uh, Tina starts discussing her nightmare and she starts describing Freddy Krueger. So then Tina's friend Nancy realizes that she's been having this similar nightmares with the same character in her nightmare. So they're both freaked out and then a Tina's boyfriend, well her crazy boyfriend, decides to come over, scare everyone, and then Tina and him go off, Nancy and Glenn go off, everyone tries to go to sleep. Tina ends up having another creepy nightmare and this time Freddy Krueger is getting like closer and closer and apparently she can't really run very fast in her nightmare because she's like slow-mo running trying to get away from Freddy Krueger and it doesn't work of course he catches her slashes her all up she's like screaming freaking out under the bed under the covers and her boyfriend's like doesn't know what's going on so he, so he rips off the covers and sees Tina's chest burst open and she's like doing the Spider-Man crawl up against the wall onto the ceiling, just blood's gushing everywhere and she finally just drops and dies. So he freaks out, he doesn't know what's going on, he leaves, Nancy and Glenn finally bust down the door and they see Tina's bloody body on the ground. So naturally they call the police. Nancy's father happens to be a lieutenant so he's superly pissed and trying to <laughs> solve this case because his daughter was there and she could have been killed. So of course they think the boyfriend did it. They're out looking for Rob. Nancy tries to convince them that it's not him, but they don't believe her. So she's pretty depressed and <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. Her friend's dead. So the next day Nancy decides to go to school just to get away from the nightmares and her friend's death. Uh, Rod catches up with her and tries to convince her that he didn't kill Tina. The police snatch up Rod, take him away. Nancy goes to school. She's in study hall. She has a nightmare. Freddy Krueger's chasing her, he's about to kill her, and she doesn't know what to do. So in the boiler room, she decides to burn her arm to wake herself up. And she freaks out <laughs> in the classroom and scares everyone. And But she's alive, and she's awake, and with her burnt arm, and <laughs> just decides to go home. So Nancy goes home, she's taking a bath, falls asleep in the bathtub, Freddy Krueger like reaches up, snatches her down and starts drowning her in this bathtub but she goes like way deep because she's in a nightmare and she's drowning and finally she gets out she screams for her mom to help her, her mom finally gets the door open and freddy krueger's gone of course so nancy just looks crazy again poor nancy so nancy knows that freddy krueger is after her her boyfriend sneaks over she tries to get him to watch her while she sleeps so that if anything happens to her he can wake her up and help her but of course, he falls asleep. <laughs> so while she's dreaming, she's being chased by Freddy Krueger, being attacked, she's freaking out, her boyfriend's chilling in the corner sleep. And finally, she gets out, she wakes up, and she's of course pissed because her boyfriend was supposed to help her and he was sleeping on the job, literally. But while she was sleeping, she ends up at Rod's cell and sees Freddy Krueger walk into his cell. So she knows that something's gonna happen to him. So the next day, her and Glenn go to the police station and try to see Rod. But they're too late because Freddy Krueger gets into his cell, takes his uh, sheet and ends up choking him, strangling him to death and making it look like Rod hung himself. So by the time they get in there, he's just hanging. So they have to get him down and it's too late. He's dead. 
Poor Rod. She tries to tell her parents about Freddy Krueger, they just dismiss it and try to get her some help. So while they're running tests on her, she has another crazy nightmare, but this time she's able to grab Freddy Krueger's hat and pull it out with her from her dream. Clearly not making it up, but they still don't believe her. So finally when they get home, Nancy's mother finally confesses all about Freddy Krueger. She tells her that he's a real person, he was like a child killer and killed a whole bunch of children in their neighborhood and all the parents got sick and tired of it and finally when he got arrested and put on trial something happened with the trial and he ended up getting off so the parents were like we got to get rid of this guy so they found out where he was in some boiler room lit it on fire and just watched him die so now apparently he's back for revenge and killing up more kids okay so nancy comes up with the plan she wants to bring freddy out of her nightmare with her like she did with the hat once she brings him out she wants glenn to beat him up but of course he falls asleep again so this time freddy snatches him up he's dead sorry glenn all right so this is the last straw for nancy she's pissed that <laughs> all her friends are dead and her boyfriend's dead so she starts setting up some traps inside of her house She's gonna go into her nightmare, bring Freddy to her house, and crush him with all of these traps. She gets a hold of her dad and she convinces him to come over in like half an hour when she's woken up and with Freddy Krueger to show him and everyone else that he's alive. So he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. So she goes to sleep, she's in her nightmare, she finally gets Freddy to come to her house, he's getting tore up by the traps. She finally wakes up, she's screaming out the window for her dad to come over. He finally comes over with some cops. They see little fire marks from where Freddy got burnt up and they're chasing after the trail. They go to the basement, he's not there. They realize that he went upstairs and he's burning up the mom. Just burning her up <laughs> and they don't know what to do. So they throw a blanket over her and him and she goes sinking into the bed and she's gone. And uh, yeah, the dad is just standing there like, what just happened? And the daughter's like, I told you, Freddy's back, burnt up my mom. What are we gonna do? So the dad leaves, and Nancy is finally alone. Freddy comes and he tries to get at her one last time. She stands up to him this time. She ignores him, screams that it's just a dream. He disappears. She leaves the room and she's walking out to what she thinks is reality and everyone's alive again, her mom's alive, she's outside breathing in fresh air, her friends come to pick her up, she gets in the car and the convertible top comes down, the doors lock, the windows roll up and we realize that it's Freddy Mobile and they're all gonna die. So now she knows she's just trapped in another nightmare. She's never getting out and it's horrible. <laughs> no happy ending in this story. Sorry guys. Alright guys, so that about wraps it up for A Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a Wes Craven classic. Check it out if you haven't already, but I'm sure you have. Okay guys, so that's it for episode 12 of Scary Chat. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and tune in next time for a whole new episode of Scary Chat. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Sing it with me now. Three, four, you better lock your doors. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, you better stay up late. Nine, to never sleep again. All right, so this is supposed to be like a little kid's song that these kids are like jump roping to in the movie and who jump ropes to a creepy death song like that I don't get it I would never jump rope to that I mean especially once you get to the end and you say like never sleep again no thanks <laughs> I'm not playing jump rope with you guys anymore